Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel Alyssa the Adventurer and in today's video we're going to be doing something absolutely 100% amazing. We are going to be going to the Santa Monica Pier and doing an entire vlog there so if you're excited for today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a huge awesome thumbs up and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so whenever i upload a new fun and amazing video you guys will be notified and if you can't already tell i'm really pumped so let's just get started with the video and again i hope you all enjoy it so let's get started you guys we just made it back from the santa monica pier and it is the next day um so we're filming this bright and early but basically this is the haul um of everything i got so as you guys can see this entire bag is filled with fun digits that i got from the pier so we're going to be doing an epic huge haul right here right now literally guys this bag is entirely filled to the brim as you guys can see it's even coming out of the bag and the bag is even ripping a little bit like literally this is so heavy and it's filled entirely with fidgets so let's go ahead and just open up our first item without further ado um i already see some fun stuff but this is the first item that i spotted and this one is an omg pop rockers um new fidget toy from top trends and literally this looked so cool we had to get it i found this actually inside of a restaurant um it was a restaurant like a little gift shop i guess you could say so it was so cool and i could not pass up the opportunity to get one so this one is the sloth i believe and her name is right there her name is sydney the sloth so she's so cute. So let's go ahead and get her right open. So it's like this little Ziploc bag type thing. And we just have to kind of slide it out like that. And here we are, the cute little Sydney the Sloth. So basically, her little um, belly right there poppets and then her entire back right there all poppets literally so so satisfying and then the bottom right here like her little legs are suction cup fidgets so we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate how those work right now all right so we're just gonna stick sydney to the little bottom platform right here So as you can see, it makes little clicking noises. So you can basically stick her to any kind of platform. And she makes the little clicking noises because of her suction cup bottom. And obviously another plus about her is she is so, so cute. I love the colors in her little sloth face. Uh, 
I just love her. She is so adorable. So we just finished with Sydney the Sloth. Absolutely adorable. And now we're gonna go ahead and pick out something else. So why not just go ahead and go straight from the top with this Bubble Poppers fidget toy. So this one is a normal, and since we were at the Santa Monica Pier, I thought this would be super cute to remember the occasion that I got this normal on. And funny story about this one, um, I actually won this at the Santa Monica Pier Arcade, and I think I showed a couple of clips of that. Honestly, I was absolutely thrilled when I saw that they had actually a variety of different fidgets there. They had things from putties, pop tubes, even like little stress balls and water snakes, and then a variety of different poppets. Honestly, it was fantastic when I found this, and I jumped at the chance to get it. And yeah, we had a blast at the arcade, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open. Alright. Uh, ah. Okay, I think that should be enough to get this out. Let's go ahead and pull it by its horn. It's stuck in there. Okay, now that it's finally opened, this is the moment we have all been waiting for. The pop test. Ooh, this side doesn't really make ASMR, but it's super easy to pop, which is always a good si sign. So I bet this is the good side or the quiet side. This side. Oh my goodness, guys. It literally pops so well on this side. Can you guys believe that? And it even pops well on that side too. Literally fantastic. Oh my gosh. And can we just take a second to appreciate the colors and like the design? Fantastic. I love this. Such a good pop it. Yes, guys. I definitely recommend. It's so cute. And literally an amazing pop it. Alright guys, now that we're done with our Narl Poppet, we're going to go ahead and pick out another item from the Bag of Truth. Um, so I'm not even going to look, I'm just going to pick out the first item that I touch. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, let's go ahead and see what this is. So these are, if you didn't already know, airpod holders so it's basically like a poppet airpod case and it comes with a mini rubber simple dimple and something that i absolutely love about that um this whole pack really is the color it's a beautiful mint green honestly i just can't get enough of that it is such a pretty mint green so we're gonna go ahead and get this open but before we do i wanted to let you know i saw this at a little kiosk um at the pier and it's funny because I liked it just because of the simple dimple and the little AirPod holder, but the color was awesome. But the funny part is I don't actually have a set of AirPods, so I can't really use this as an AirPod holder. So that's funny, but <laughs> that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and get that open. All right, let's go ahead and get this open. It's another little Ziploc thing. And then just get that out. Got the top. I'm gonna put that right there. Simple dimple. Right there. And the AirPods. Perfect. So um, let's test out the AirPod case first and then the simple dimple. So as you can see, it goes like that. Super cute, by the way. I love that. And let's see how it pops. It's a little hard to hear, but it does pop well. Um, and the mini and the pops are really small too. So as you can see, let's try, try the top. 
Yeah, that is cute. I really like that. Next up, the Simple Dimple. It is this really pretty mint green again. And look at that. That side is the quiet side and this is the loud side. I've always wanted a rubber Simple Dimple too. And this one is mini, so it's so cute. Ah, I almost dropped it. It's so cute. I love this. Alright, we are coming down to the end. We only have a few items left. So let's go ahead and pick another item. Again, I'm not going to look. I'm just going to pick the first thing I touch. Which is this. Oh, I was really excited for this item. This is a shark stress ball. And I'm so excited to open this and test it out. And boom, we have a shark. Um, it's super clear, filled with clear orbies. And it has little real details. I love it. It's really stretchy too. I love how it feels when you squish it. It even has a light inside of it that makes these little flashy red and blue little lights. Ugh. It's kind of hard to look at actually, so I'm gonna shield it. But um, it's a really fun fidget toy. And I love the clear Orbeez, honestly. It's just so fun. I think this actually might be one of my favorite stress balls, so I love that. And on to the next thing. Let's go ahead and grab out of this bag. And what do we have here? We have this magic folding cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bag out of the way. So we have this magic folding cube and um, it's basically an infinity cube, um, but they call it a magic folding cube. And it's glow in the dark according to the packaging. So I'm excited to actually test that out and see if it is glow in the dark. <clears throat> but funny story behind this, um, I got this at the arcade. I'm sure I included some clips of that. But basically, um, they had so many fidgets there. So, I got this there. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, let's go ahead and tear this. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I'm absolutely horrible at opening things um i'm really bad at opening things oh but this one was actually pretty easy to open and oh, let's see how functionable this is it's kind of stiff at first but once you start playing with it it gets less stiff and less stiff it kind of only moves this way oh yeah so it is pretty good overall. It's a solid infinity cube. I feel like, let's see. This is a mix between a lightweight infinity cube and a weighted infinity cube. I don't know. It kind of feels like there's weights inside, but also it feels like that plasticky lightweight texture to it. It has that. So this is kind of a weird type. I've never felt anything like it, but it's pretty cool overall. And I like it. The colors are awesome too. Um, so again, it's a really cool infinity cube, and I love the color, pink, and I think that's like, um, yellow. But we're gonna go ahead and test if it glows in the dark, because according to the packaging, it says it should glow in the dark. So I don't know, um, as you guys can probably already tell, it's not, um, nighttime, so it's gonna be kind of hard. We're just basically gonna close the blinds to test this theory, but let's go ahead and do that. So I did try to film the glow in the dark of this infinity cube, but unfortunately it's a lot harder to film the dark on camera. So it definitely did glow in the dark, especially when you charged it in the sunlight, I noticed. So this definitely does work. It just doesn't really show up on camera well. In the few bits of footage that I did get, I didn't end up using just because it absolutely looked, 
terrible, um, and I noticed it when I was editing that clip, so I just decided to take it out all together. Um, but yeah, that's it for this Infinity Cube. I ended up really liking it, and the product does work, even though I didn't show it on camera. So yeah, I really enjoyed this, and it's an overall great product. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. So we do only have like four more products in this bag, I think. Um, so I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get that. Ooh, I was really looking forward to this one. All right, let's get the bag out of here. Um, but yeah, I was really looking forward to this item. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so this is a guy I like to call Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> um i'm just kidding anyways um i won this at an arcade too so i i'm telling you they were loaded with fidgets there like they had so many fidgets there at the arcade and one of them was this air stress ball caterpillar so it's filled with air so there's nothing really inside but it's shaggy too so it has these shags right here and it's rainbow and it has all these different parts and it's sort of stretchy too like a monkey noodle so it has many different purposes as well as texture stretchability and then just like squishing of course so so fun to play with i'm obsessed with this it's so fun i could play with this for literal hours and look at that cute face i think it's so cute it literally has these legs too on each side that you can just dangle it from <laughs> i love that the only bad thing about this is it kind of leaves a bit of a like a sandy chalky residue on your hands but that's fine if you just give it like a really quick washing i'm sure that'll come off but it does give that like chalky residue that i don't really like but that's all right um so overall i love this so fun to play with and a great fidget for like only like 500 or 400 tickets at the arcade so so fun i love it so we only have three items left and i'm really excited let's go ahead and pick these out all right and the two ones that i obviously feel in here are these two putties and they go together so we're gonna open them together it's a little i think it's like a clear green one and then this one is a clear orange one and i won these both at the arcade as well and they were only 70 tickets each so they're a really good deal so we're gonna go ahead oh and they both come with a pair of googly eyes by the way so we're gonna go ahead and get these open all right so let's start with the orange one i don't know i, I just feel like starting with the orange one hmm, that came off easier than i expected <laughs> all right um, so it looks like it's divided into two sections, and wow, that is really clear putty. But it's alright, I'm just gonna mix it all together. Oh, wow. Alright, this is really clear putty. Oh my goodness, I actually really like that. Oh, wow. Look at how fun that is, guys. Eee! It's really cool, actually. Little bubble. Oh, and you can even see the eyeballs in there, too. It's so clear fantastic i love this all right now the green one since the orange one's already gone let's do the green one. Oh wow oh, okay oh the eyeball got stuck in this one actually i don't know how to get it out <laughs> i'll get it out later all right oh this one thing this one um seems a bit thicker than the orange one this will be interesting Right. whoa again so clear i love that i love it when they're thick and when they're clear oh oh look at that little bubble crack great asmr too so so pretty i love it all right you guys this is the last item oh i'm so excited all right last but definitely definitely not least Ooh, the moment you've all been waiting for pbj i love her she is so cute her name is chili and i thought she was absolutely adorable she is i don't know if it says what series she's from either but i bet she's from the 
aquatic animal series yeah i don't think they do series it's like they do squishmallows but she is definitely so cute what um made her different from the others though is because the other penguins like her didn't have those teal or those like crystal clear orbies that she has honestly like i love her and listen to that sound so cute i didn't win her at the arcade but still she is so adorable and i love her all right you guys that is all for today's video and again thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye